Foundation Week for us is really a moment when foundations who are usually used to speaking to each other and network with each other and share good practice with one another are actually in this context saying you know well we have to share this with an outside public this is about transparency it's about telling people what we do showing what we do there's a recognition that foundations have flown under the radar for too long and there is a recognition that really people need to know what foundations are doing and in this instance we've been coming to this moment to have a meeting in Brussels where we are feeling it's really important that we engage with the institutions that we uh, many people don't know what foundations are and many people feel that foundations are um, not accountable and it's really important that foundations actually show how accountable they are by demonstrating what it is they're doing and engaging with people so we're very excited by this the numbers are quite spectacular we're expecting uh, you know about a thousand people to come through here where we're talking about 60 events between now Monday and Wednesday uh, then we'll have our own conference which has another 20 sessions we have evening events we have exhibitions we have music and opera and we have some serious uh, attempts to show what foundations are engaged in there's a very wide uh, diversity of kinds of stands one of the things in the interactive fair is that there are at least 20 different kinds of exhibitors and they're all showing different things and the most important thing is no one's trying to sell you anything this is really demonstrating showing explaining contextualizing the work it's not about buy this you know come and look at this so it's really very exciting I'm very thrilled at this uh, foundation week well this is really an important moment in Europe uh, first of all the foundations themselves have are speaking increasingly with confidence and with a comfort that they didn't have a few years ago they're they're happy in their differences, they're happy in their diversity, they're happy in the way they're doing things, and there's a feeling of confidence. It's a quiet confidence, it's not a show of, you know, hubris-filled confidence. It's a confidence that's mature. And it's really a very important moment because they've just, many of the foundations feel that they're coming out of one financial crisis and going into another one. And uh, it's a crisis moment in Europe because as you can see people are beginning to ask questions about the currency, they're beginning to talk about the European project, just at a time when you're actually hoping that the 2020 agenda is going to take off. And foundations have a critical role to play in the 2020 agenda. They're very important partners to the European Commission and institutions and sometimes we feel that the institutions can only work with civil society if that civil society is dependent on their funding. They don't really know how to work with civil society that has its own resources. And that new partnership has to come at this moment. Both sides have to approach each other, have to be open to hear each other and listen to each other, which is why this conversation is so important. And to do that in Brussels at this moment in time is absolutely perfect timing. It's a perfect storm. This is an incredibly, strangely invisible sector. It's a sector that's huge. There are at least 110 thousand foundations in Europe. They spend collectively, uh, we, we estimate, about 150 billion euro on projects, on the public good, in Europe and outside of Europe, but mostly in Europe. They are diverse in what they're doing, yet there is hardly a citizen in Europe, I think, that isn't impacted on by what foundations do. Science and technology funding, funding of aged people's work, uh, studentships, scholarships, science, as I said, education, youth, uh, children, uh, green areas in cities, hospitals. I cannot imagine that people are impacted upon by foundations and yet don't know about foundations and this is partly the the challenge is to say hey do you realize what foundations are doing in your city in your home and how you have impact, been impacted on by foundations and now to see foundations showing what they're doing inviting people to come and look it's just an incredibly important moment <laughs>